Hello everyone and welcome to my, I think, first YouTube tutorial, I guess. Uh, my name is Marcus and I'm a senior designer and animator based in London. And I do these kind of like tutorials in on Skillshare about posters, but I was thinking like, I really want to bring this to a bigger scale, which is YouTube. So I hope it works here too. So today we are going to be doing this poster design here. It's a very simple poster design. Like when you look at it, but I really enjoy doing this today because I'm, I've been a while since, I did, since I've done something for myself and today I was like quite tired, but I actually really wanted to design something like for myself and go back to post on my social networks and I actually designed this poster and I was like, actually, I really liked it. So I think I will share how I made it and maybe some people can get some value from it and learning or even like do something like this as well. So let's start. So the first thing we need to do is create a new document, of course. I'm using a 1700 by 2400 pixels in RGB and yeah, in vertical orientation. Let's press create and great. So the first thing we, we I recommend you, like I, I like to do, but is just create a background layer. Let's just make it like a really nice same size of the artboard. Let's double check here. 1,700. Yeah, yeah, perfect. And let's make this um, like this almost pink reddish color that I very neon color. I really like it. Let's just name this layer background and just lock it. Perfect. So create a new layer where you're going to have our text. So I use back as a text. <laughs> For this poster because uh, yeah, I'm just I was just like trying to inspire myself. I need to be back on social media. I'll be back sharing my designs because I really I really enjoy it and actually it makes me feel really nice when I design for myself because when you we get so busy with like client work and like it takes everything away from you and then you actually start to not enjoying as much designing but then when you design for yourself you actually understand how much do you love it. And yeah, so I use back because I want to be back on on the socials platforms and let's start. So I use a font, uh, the name was Frank, actually. Yeah, it's a really nice font. It's like a uh, sans serif, very, very thick, actually. It's, but the, comp the way it works is really, it's really nicely. And I'm actually going to scale this a little bit down. I'm going to select the... Um, the text here, I'm going to character and I'm going to increase the kerning in between the letters. I really like to do this because it creates like, you can read it all together uh, and you can also appreciate the design of each letter, which is really cool. So with that done, I'm going to just uh, select it again, go to edit, copy and edit, paste in place. I'm going to just drag it down holding shift so it locks in this direction. I'm going to select them both and then I'm going to object, blend and make. Perfect. So I'm going to go back to our blend tool here on the toolbar, click twice and I'm going to make three steps only. And perfect, just press OK. And I'm going then to go to object, expand, object and fill. Perfect. I like to to use like the blend tool, I just did it. I didn't explain why, because I kind of control better the distance in between. I'm pretty sure the distance is perfect. And I, I then I can control how many copies I want easily. Yeah. I can look cool, just like make a copy and drag it, make a copy and drag it. And like, I just try to be as, as productive as, as I can. Always trying to shave those seconds from here and there. But the problem with the blend tool is that when you do that, you actually change and then you expand it. Actually, the, the copies are not edible anymore. So it can be a little bit annoying, but you just go back and then make the blend again. It's not that too much to do. So let's just select it and let's go to object and expand. Perfect, like just like this. And let's just make these letters white, actually. Yeah, let's leave it as white and now let's just right click on select and right click and ungroup them and just like these two here and I right click again and I'll go to reflect. Let's reflect it vertically. 
just like this. Perfect. It's, it's already looking like pretty decent. I think I think it's, as a poster, like just typography poster, is pretty decent already. I think it will work really well, like as a as a simple communication poster. Like if you need someone to to go back, or like it's just I don't know. I just probably just thinking too much. But like I think if I saw this like a direction, like go right or left. I think this is a really cool way to to communicate in a fun way. And but well, let's just add a little bit of more interestingness in this poster. So let's just go to our toolbar here, select our ellipse tool, and let's make a perfect ellipse. I'm holding sh Alt and Shift to make like a perfect circle. And then I'm going to click on the swatches here, choose this nice blue, which is already here. Maybe I'm gonna make it a little bit darker, actually. Perfect. And I'm going to just go to Effects, 3D Materials, 3D Classics, and Extrude and Bevel. Perfect. And love just here we can just like rotate our object as we want here. This is like the perspective tool. You can just play with it. Uh, we can just actually use angles here if you fancy. But I really like the how interactive it is if you use this one. And I'm going to just make like a nice perspective here. I'm going to increase this to 80 to make like a very nice thick uh, cylinder and just press OK. Then I'm going to just drag this and in our uh, comp like poster composition here. I'm going to just make a few copies. I'm going to just select it and then hold uh, Option or Alt. And I'm just going to make a few copies and drag them around the poster just like this. And Perfect. Just try to make like a really dynamic composition with this. Trying to make it like as interesting as you can. Like this one maybe is, should go there. This one can go there. And then you can make a new one here. Something like this. And now just select this one. And let's go to Properties. If you don't have your Properties tab here, you can just go to Window and then Find Properties, which is um, which is, gives you the ability to go back to our 3D effects and then change again the perspective, which is really cool. Let's just change these perspectives to make something different from the other before. Let's just make it as, let's start to make it as dynamic as we can. Again, like here, something like this. Yes, yeah, so let's just drag this, maybe like that. Perfect. And this one too, let's just change it to face like maybe a different direction. Let's just try to find like a nice way to put this. Perfect. So now maybe I'm gonna just like, maybe I'm gonna rotate it a little bit. So now let's just play a little bit with scales. I really, I think when you, we are like designed to make it even more, the composition even more dynamic, playing with scales and like creates this sort of like 3D position in the, in the, in the space which is really cool. And like this, if this one is really like a little bit bigger, it means it's closer to you. This one is like not that close. And this one probably is like in the same space as this one almost. And this one, it's maybe further. We can just decide that while we're designing, which is cool. And, and perfect. Now what we're going to do is just like select these letters here and ungroup them and let's just push this B, let's select them and arrange it and bring it to front and leave the A behind and the K maybe we'll leave it behind as well. And B here we'll leave it like maybe the K actually going goes in front because now maybe this B goes behind. I just try to create like a rule when we are designing like if this B is behind this one will be in front and and then this K, because this K, there is no element here, is already sh already showing. So this K will be will be okay, not showing. But this B needs to be showing because it's not showing there. I just try to create like a rules for myself, so it helps me like to uh, take design decisions much quicker if they already are like self briefs in place, like self rules in place. So B is showing here. It's okay, not showing there. Maybe back here, I will just, the A, I'm going to push it forward, just ungroup this. I'm just going to arrange, bring it to the front. 
maybe we're gonna play a little bit more with this position here and cool and here let's just maybe leave the c behind and the k showing let's just make it again let's just select it and ungroup it arrange bring to the front and then b is showing there b should be showing here then arrange and a a is going to be hiding there which is i don't i don't really mind and let's just select this k here and make it go in front as well arrange bring to the front perfect so this is just like to try to create like these elements this floating pills or like cylinders actually going through the letter so if we create this like 3d space here which is really cool let's just let's just send this a backwards arrange it to the back just to create like like the cylinders between the a and the b which sounds like cool let's just move this up a little bit forward try to make like this composition have a little bit more flow and just maybe just like this here Maybe this one is actually needs to be bigger or smaller and this one can be smaller because we need to actually try to make this as, um, as visually interesting as, as we can. Perfect. So let, now let's just uh, un unlock our background. Let's just copy our background here and let's just paste it in place here. And let's just select these cylinders that are outside and make a clipping mask with a background and make a clipping mask perfect just like this and again let's just unlock the background there and let's, let's uh, press e and holding alt and option and shift let's just scale this down a little bit so we can create like that black border around it let's create a new layer and let's go to rectangle tool here and make a new nice background right here let's make it like a really dark gray and yeah this is this is basically it if you want to have like a nice um noise layer and you don't want to go to photoshop to add the noise you can just like create a new layer ab above them above all the layers and then go to effects and then texture grain yes I can just like use the stippled grain here, leave the intensity as it is, press OK, and then just go to opacity here and what is it? Screen. And then you control like how much grain you have you want in your poster, like with like the opacity tool here. So it doesn't it so it takes like it takes away that very digital feeling and adds this really, really cool noise on the in the colors as well. We could just increase this a little bit, not maybe too much. Something like this would be nice. And let's just zoom out and have a look. And yeah, this is it. I I hope you enjoyed. I really enjoyed making this poster today. It was really, really nice for me after a very long time of just doing client work, have a break and doing something for myself and actually be able to share with, with, with you. I hope you took some value from this i if you didn't i'm sorry um i will leave this video open for comments as well so i really i'm really looking for feedback because i this is probably the first time actually doing this on youtube and i really want to, to make this like another like a nice side project and i want to see if you like it and if it adds value to you and if you can learn something with it so yeah i hope i see you in the next one and that's, this is it, I think. Yeah? <laughs> well, see you later. Bye-bye.